We're going back to Asheville. We're finally going to visit the Grove Park Inn and enjoy wonderful views of the Blue Ridge and the downtown skyline. We'll eat at a great authentic Spanish tapas restaurant. We'll stumble upon a pride festival, the Grove Arcade, the Pinball Museum. We'll even go back to Hemingway's Cuba for a mojito. And there is more as we wrap up this early fall 2023 road trip. I'm riding, 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 riding in my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be. Because I'm free in my RV. We're staying at the Asheville East KOA Holiday, and we've been here before, several years ago in 2017. It used to be $40 per night. This is, by the way, a lovely campground with several lakes. It is actually very nice. It's our site. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, let's go into town. Hello, hello there. Se asustó. Hay dos. There's another one back there. Yes. That happened as we were leaving the campground, and I feel I must apologize for the video quality. I think it is time to retire the old Sony X3000. It is more than six years old, so I think I got my money's worth. Anyway, here we are. We're gonna try and see if we can get a table at the Sunset Terrace, from where you get great views of the Blue Ridge and downtown. The hotel was built in 1913, out of rough granite stones in the arts and crafts style. Hmm, the more you know. I think this view is what the hotel is most famous for. We're having an IPA, of course, chickpea soup, and the smash burger. Just not the best view from our table. Well, we just had lunch here at the, at the famous Grove Park Inn and uh, Maybe we'll have a, a digestive here, sitting down with this view. Oh, it is here too, by the way. Here we are. It's called an old Cuban. A variation of an old fashioned, I suppose. With rum instead of bourbon. Oh, well, here's an old Cuban drinking an old Cuban. Oh, well, I mean, I mean. With a view. It is a great place to relax and admire these beautiful views of the Blue Ridge. Not cheap, but then again, you only live once. They even have a robotic lawnmower. That's what we need at Pelicamp. Here's a Ford Model T in the lobby and the historic elevator. Here's the view from a different angle. And I think this is all we're gonna do today. Well, good morning. Let's walk around the campground a little bit. Yeah, it is definitely a great setting here with all these lakes. And there are hiking trails around the lakes. It is definitely more than a place to park your RV with a view of your neighbor's sewer by your picnic table. This is definitely an idyllic place nestled in the foothills of the Blue Ridge.
Okay, let's go back to Asheville. There's some kind of festival happening here today. Okay, let's park. Seven feet clearance, so no problem. Starship is six seven. Last time we were here we wanted to eat at this tapas restaurant called Curate, but the wait time was ridiculous, so today we made a reservation, and we still have some time to kill. And here we are in Asheville, North Carolina, and there seems to be a pride celebration today going on. We're gonna go eat and then we might uh, walk around a little bit. That's a cool sphere. As I was saying, let's go eat and we'll come back later. Yeah, it's one of those uh, serendipitous things that you can't plan for. You know, you come into a town and there's a celebration. There it is coming up ahead, curate, which in Spanish means literally cure yourself alluding to the curative effects of sharing good food and wine with family and friends. We begin with a good Rioja and some olives with lemon, rosemary and thyme. Chistorra and chips and croquetas de jamón. Mm. There's bread, of course. Sauté shrimp. Potatoes and spicy sauce. Bravas. Spanish coffee was truly outstanding and very authentic. But this place, Guarate, exceeded my expectations and I had high expectations. It was very good. This video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN and I've said it many times, a VPN is an essential tool for us travelers, you know, we're always connecting to a different router, you know, Wi-Fi router here and there at the campground, restaurant, coffee shop, and um, you don't know whether that connection is secure, you know, some of them don't even have passwords, uh, so um, VPN stands for Virtual Private Network, it just creates a secure private connection for your eyes only between your devices and the internet and it works on on android it works on ios it works on your computer it works even on your streaming devices and um, it's very simple just click on the app and say quick connect and with ex within seconds you are connected to to, uh, to what it considers the fastest server which in my case yeah in miami we're at the flagami studio right now so I was connecting to Miami, and now I know that whatever I do on this phone is secure for my eyes only. It has this other feature that is great because, as you know, the internet is not the same everywhere, and some countries have certain content blocked. For example, today I feel like being in the United Kingdom, and within seconds I'm in Manchester, as far as the internet is concerned. So I could watch, you know, like the BBC or something that, that is available to our friends in the UK, but not to us. And... Uh, and that is uh, very convenient. It has many other features. It has this uh, a, a incognito search, like a true incognito search. Um, it has, um, and it has several packages. You know, some of them include like the clean web feature that gets rid of unwanted ads, possible malware, and. Uh, Anyway, I could be talking about this all day. Just go to surfshark.deals slash myrv and you enter promo code myrv at, at checkout and you'll be, you're going to be welcomed by a screen like this one. As of right now, this recording, 80% off and up to three months for free.
Always good to see street musicians. Here's the courthouse building, and it looks like there's going to be a live band here at the main stage. Y'all, these folks are from Charlotte, and they play all over the region. Any of y'all like the Red Hot Chili Peppers? fun to listen to a live rock and roll band, although today I can only share snippets of their performance, for obvious reasons. Nashville is a very musical city, and also very walkable, so let's explore a little bit on foot. The blue glass sphere or orb on display here outside the Asheville Art Museum is a work called Reflections on Unity by Henry Richardson. Here's perhaps the world's largest iron, one of the largest for sure. Very appropriate since we are in front of the Flat Iron Building, which seems to be undergoing renovations. Mara Clutterbuck's Neurodiverse Universe. Interesting. Here's the Grove Arcade, dating back to 1929. It was one of America's first indoor shopping malls. But first, let's go to Hemingway's Cuba for a refreshing mojito. It is a rooftop restaurant here in the Cambria Hotel with spectacular views of the Blue Ridge. And if you recall, we came here at the beginning of this trip. Very nice views all around, and a good place to take a break, and probably a great spot from where to see the sunset over the Blue Ridge. Hmm, 7.15, we might come back. You never know. Oh, this is that famous Grove Arcade. The architecture is Tudor Revival or Late Gothic Revival. It looks very, very cool. It almost looks like something you would find in Paris. Let's see this side. Yeah, it is built on a hill, so there is a slope. That's unusual. Let's see what else we can stumble upon. Well, Asheville is home to the Pinball Museum. Here's the Pinball Museum. World famous. That's what I'm talking about. I decided to just take some pictures instead of video, but it is a very cool place. It almost feels like we've traveled back in time into the mid-1980s. Actually, very cool place. It wasn't exactly what I expected. I expected to see like a museum, museum, you know, <laughs> and it's like an arcade. You know, you can play with all the pinball machines and they have like 
all these vintage uh, video games and I'm very impressed a lot of them there is they're still you know keeping those old CRTs alive a, a lot of these vintage machines you know they have replaced the screens with LCDs but a lot of them they're still using the original CRTs that's very cool um, now let's check out the, the cathedral check it out party bike well, if you're gonna drink, might as well burn off some of those empty calories, right? <laughs> Speaking of the cathedral, it is the Basilica of St. Lawrence, completed in 1909. It is supposed to be very pretty inside, with Italian statues of saints, beautiful stained glass windows, two different chapels. It is closed. Apparently, Beer City Comic Con is happening this week too. No wonder we saw someone dressed as Batman earlier. Well, serendipity actually is happening today. We've got Comic Con back there. We've got the, the, the Pride Festival. Let's see what else we encounter here. Here we've got a community garden. Check it out. Pretty cool. They're selling all kinds of stuff here. We have five seconds. Tres, dos, uno. Let's do it. More street musicians. And they have a washed up bass. I would love to hear them play. You know I love the music of Appalachia. And uh, let's end our day at the coffee bus. Well, you know I have to have my mid-afternoon espresso. Especially after that meal and the wine. Yeah, you order outside and you pick up inside. Oh yeah, cheers. It's worth it. It's pretty good. Yep. Yeah, I'm a simple man. I just like my espresso plain and strong. These days I don't even put sugar in it. That's all we're gonna do in Asheville this time around. If you want to see our 2017 video where we did a lot more and I looked a lot younger, well, there will be a link somewhere. Let's go to the main building because they are supposed to have live music tonight. This is the Swannanoa River here. Such a great location, this campground. Dancing round and round But my heart can take no more way to end the day, listening to live music and enjoying the great afternoon weather. Asheville will return soon. Well, today is just going to be a driving day, and once we get away from the mountains, a not-so-scenic drive, so I'll spare you the details. 
we're going to space dock to finally fix the issue with Starship's running lights. In an older vehicle, it would have been just a fuse, but in this one it's a whole computer module that needs to be replaced. So we're staying, as usual, at Santee Lakes KOA, and tomorrow we're going to ferry Chevrolet in Orangeburg, South Carolina to get all that taken care of. This, by the way, a very nice campground as well, next to a lake, and they even have pizza. Hope you have enjoyed this late summer trip, the last one of 2023. On the next one will be staycation of sorts. We're going to spend some time in South Florida preparing for the next adventure. We're going to get on a boat and we're going to walk as well. And eventually we'll clean up Pelly Camp, which as you can see is a little bit of a mess still. Until then, thank you so much for watching and see you on the road. Riding in my